Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Place Value Part 2. This lesson is a continuation of the previous video. More examples will aim to help with further understanding. Example 1. Write down the information in the above table in each of the following ways. As an ordinary numeral, in words and using expanded notation. So here is the ordinary numeral. We just check that we have each of the digits in the correct order. 763958, that is correct. In words, 763958. And we check that correctly, check the spelling. It's always good to have the correct spelling. And that is correct. Using expanded notation, so we know that the 7 is in the 100 thousandths column. So we've got 100,000, 10,000, 1,000, the 100, the 10, and the 1. So they're the six digits. And we'll just check we have them in the correct order. 7, 6, 3, 9, 5, 8. So always double check. And that is correct. Example 2. Write 38,247 as an ordinary numeral. So here we have the words. So 38,000, that's that part. 200 is that part. 47. So we're okay there. Example 3. Write this here as an ordinary numeral. So that's expanded notation as an ordinary numeral. So we have 7, 3, 5, 8. 7, 3, 5, 8. That's correct. Example 4, write 24,869 in expanded notation. So we here we have five digits, and we know the place values of each digit. So we have the 2, the 4, the 8, the 6, and the 9. And we'll just quickly check the place values, and they are correct. Example 5, write 24,586 in words. 24,586, and that is correct. Write down the value <coughs> of the red digit in each of the following numerals. So the units, the tens, so the 7 is in the tens column. 7 tens is 70. Number 2, 2578. The 8 is in the units column. So 8 times 1 is 8. The 3 units, tens, hundreds. The 3 is in the hundreds column. 3 times 100 is 300. And finally, the 4 units, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000. 4 times 10,000 is 40,000. <coughs> Example 7. Write the name of the place value for each of the red digits. Now we're writing the name of the place value. Units, tens, hundreds, so that's in the hundreds column. The seven, that's in the first one to the right, so it's units or ones. The four, units, tens, so it's in the tens column. The six, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. And the last one, the three, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Finally, write down each of the following using digits. 407, so 407, that means there's a zero in the tens column. When you have 407, there's a zero in the tens column. 36, 36, 9, single digit. And 2,645, 2,645. Now here's an important note I'd like you to think about, and please talk to your teachers about it. In everyday life, people often say number when they should be saying numeral. It doesn't really matter, because each term might represent an amount or a measurement. People understand what you mean, so there is no problem with using either term 
in everyday conversation. So what I introduced in the earlier video, that is in the first video, was just a very formal way of using number and numeral, but it doesn't matter in everyday conversation, in everyday life, both terms are interchangeable and both are acceptable.